Yeah, we're good. Okay. Hi again. Uh, this is something new. I'm going to start on my channel. Um, I know it, my channel name is She Sings Fall Out Boy. But I think this is important enough to be on here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start a vlog on depression and anxiety. And uh, various other assorted mental disorders. Um, why should you watch my vlog? And why should you believe me? Um, well, one, I have both of those things. And two, I have a degree in psychology. So, I, I'm fairly, you know, qualified to at least have a vlog. So, um, <laughs> anyway. Um, so I guess I'll just start out with, you know, um, what is depression and anxiety and how are they caused? Um... Uh, I guess I'll start out with how they're caused. I didn't actually write anything down, so this is just gonna be off the cuff. <laughs> it might be bad. Um, well, anyway. So, uh, psychology is a science. And just like any other science, it can change every day. Um, the way science works is we test theories, uh, or hypotheses, uh, to create theories on what causes what in the universe. Um, they're correct. Um, unless they can be proven wrong, and things get proven wrong. Um, that's just how science works. Uh, it doesn't mean you shouldn't believe it. Um, I mean, it's as accurate as we as humans can test. Um, <clears throat> psychology is called a soft science <clears throat> because it, since it's in your mind and it has to do with um, emotions and things we can't exactly quantify, um, it, it, a lot of it is speculation when it comes to uh, specific, like, um, mood disorders and feelings, things like that. Um, we do have, you know, um, hard evidence on depression and anxiety and other uh, disorders. Um, most of the time, they're caused by a chemical imbalance in your brain. Uh, usually the imbalances of hormones like uh, epinephrine and serotonin. Um, that's all that's coming to my head right now. <laughs> um, but um, uh, th that's what causes depression at least. Um, also anxiety. Um, there's other things that can cause... I just had a bunch of stuff fall. There's other things that can cause mental disorders, um, injury to the brain, um, uh, trauma as a kid, uh, like, um, um, abuse, things like that, uh, but generally, um, if you want to look at the biological side, um, a lot of it is hereditary, uh, biological, it gets passed down through your DNA, uh, which is short for dioxyribonucleic acid. That's better. Um, you don't have to worry about what that means. Um, I'm only saying this just because I know there might, maybe, if somebody cares to watch, be some young people out there that don't know about this kind of stuff yet. Um, but basically what DNA does, it gives your uh, body when you're in the womb, a list of what you're going to be made of. Uh, it determines your eye color and how your voice sounds, your hair color, your hair texture, your skin color, um, pretty much everything. It's, it's, it's basically an outline of what your body is going to be. Um, you get half from your, you get half your DNA from your mother, half from your father, um, it, other than that, you don't have to really know like a whole lot about it. It's made up of proteins. You don't really need to... It's in your cells, and it's one of the smallest things in your body. Um, but, so a lot of uh, mental illness we have found is genetic. Um, uh, if your family has mental illness on one or both sides, does that mean you're going to have a mental illness? No, absolutely not. It puts you at a higher predisposition, meaning you 
have more of a chance than someone who doesn't have a mental illness that runs in their family, but it doesn't mean you will. Uh, depression is fairly common. Um, I'm trying to think of the exact... I think it's about 80% uh, of humans will have depression at one point in their life. Um, it can last a few months to a few years. Um, it could last the rest of your life. Um, genetics is kind of a crapshoot. It's really, you know, it's the best you can do. But um, the good part about it is you can get treatment. Um, things can get better. Um, a lot of people don't want to talk about mental illness because they're embarrassed. Um, in the past 200 some years that psychology has been studied, there's been a real stigma um, of having a mental illness. It's not like cancer where, um, you know, cancer, everyone feels sorry for you and they're, you know, super supportive. Um, and I'm <clears throat> not saying I want anyone to have cancer. I mean, that's, that's a horrible thing. Um, but mental illness can be just as horrible. Um, maybe it won't kill you, but it can be horrible. And the thing is that before it was studied, uh, basically when a person, uh, exhibited traits of any mental illness, um, they were just, uh, thrown in an asylum. Um, most people were just left to die. Uh, there was no treatment. There was no help. Well, I take it back. There was treatments. They didn't work. I mean, you know, they were very uh, medieval, um, and brutal and they really didn't, you know, do anything. Um, but, uh, anyway, so, um, like I said, a lot of people in this world will have a bout of depression sometime in their lifetime. Um, and like I said, it doesn't, most people it doesn't last that long. Um, the, um, I can't think of the word I want, but we'll use credentials, uh, of having depression, I think is still, I believe two months or longer. Um, so if you've been feeling down, um, or hopeless, um, or just gloomy for more than two months, I would say talk to a doctor or, um, tell a family member that you trust if you're a young person, um, so they can get you to a doctor. Um, uh, you might have depression. Don't go online and try to self-diagnose yourself because first of all, that was redundant. But first of all, <laughs> there's a lot of websites out there about depression and anxiety that are untrue. They're just random people with no background, um, that haven't studied it, um, that, you know, maybe have it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have enough knowledge to be telling you, hey, you have it, um, or have this or that, whatever. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, if you think you might have that or anxiety or any other kind of mental disorder, um, don't be afraid to tell somebody um, because there's treatments and things can get better. You can feel better. Um, and it can be curable. Um, I also have anxiety. It's caused by the same kinds of things. Uh, chemical imbalances. It's also genetic. Um, and I have panic disorder. Um, I'll do another video on the differences between anxiety and panic disorder. Um, just not right now, so. Um, how do I know what depression feels like? I've had it for two... How old am I? Um, it'll be 13 years. <clears throat> uh, it started when I was 15. Um, nothing specifically happened when I was 15. I had a fairly good life. Um, I wasn't bullied a lot in school. Um, I, I, get, I got bullied by a few certain people. Um, and that didn't really bother me. That started when I was about 12. Um, just because I started puberty early and kind of developed quicker than other girls, so I looked bigger than other girls, even though I wasn't really fat. I am now. I don't know if you can tell. I am now. But I wasn't when I was um, younger. <clears throat> but, um, like I said, sometimes, for people, um, it's like a switch. 
that we don't really know what turns it on and off, uh, but it just kind of happened to me. I was almost 15, and I was in eighth grade. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and I uh, felt really sad one day and really angry. Um, and I didn't know why. So I went to um, the basement bathroom in my um, school because it, um, there was this blocked off area that had like chicken wire um, and I cut my hand on the chicken wire. I didn't know why. And it scared me. It scared me a lot. I mean, I know about people, I knew about people hurting themselves and I didn't know what I was feeling and I was terrified. So I ran straight to the guidance counselor and she called my mother. Um, and it was, it was very scary. Um, especially because it came out of nowhere. I wasn't necessarily, I mean, I've never had really high self-esteem or anything like that. Um, so I wasn't necessarily having problems with that more than I was before. Um, and like I said, it, uh, it's just like a switch that can be turned on and off. We don't know how to do it though. Um, and we don't know why it turns on and off. We don't know what will trigger it. If you have that predisposition, I have mental illness on both sides of my family. Um, so I had the predisposition and then maybe that's what it just kind of clicked. Um, that happens a lot, uh, with, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's not gradual. Um, and it, it can be too. Um, but anyway, okay, so this video is getting long. So this will just be the introduction. I will move on to, I guess I'll explain anxiety and panic disorder next. Um, that'll be a pretty short video. Um, and then I'll make a third video today, uh, just about my experience and how it feels. And then I'll start making videos that are more, um, scientific that I'll just pull out some of my psychology books from college and, uh, stuff like that. Um, if anyone watches this and have any questions, you can put it in the comments. I will answer them, um, to the best of my knowledge. Like I said, uh, science changes every day. So, uh, since I'm not in school, I don't really have the access I used to have to, like, scholarly articles, which is, um, where, um, if you're researching, you should get your information, not Wikipedia, not somebody's random blog. Um, so, things might have changed in the last few years. I got my degree in 2012, um, but for the most part, I mean, you know, uh, the background information and the basic information on these diseases is not going to change. Um, okay, so that's the end of this video.